it's about more than megabytes. When's the last time you looked to see how much you're actually paying for your internet service? Turns out it's not always easy to tell. 12 Your Sites' Marilyn Moritz looks at what you can do to save money. How much are you paying for your internet? If you checked your bill but still can't tell, it's not just you. Consumer Reports analyzed more than 22,000 internet bills from across the country. With so many lines of charges and fees, they found it challenging to determine the true price of internet. A lot of consumers bundle it with their TV or their phone service. And some providers have a separate line item for internet service, but others do not. They just have one price for bundled service, and you can't really tell on that sort of bill what part of that bundle is paying for your broadband service. The NCTA, Internet and Television Association, disagrees, saying cable providers provide transparent billing information on their websites and promotional materials. As for prices, Consumer Reports found those vary a lot. We found people paying for subpar broadband service, like 5 to 10 megabits per second download speeds, were paying on average the same as people getting 100, 300 megabits per second. So how can you be sure you're getting the best deal possible? Well, first, you want to know that you're actually getting the speed that you're paying for. There are some tests for that. Speed tests by Ookla and MLab are two sites where you can test your speed. Next, call your provider and ask for a better deal. It can't hurt. Instead of paying a monthly rental fee for your router, buy one. And some companies give a discount if you skip paper billing and sign up for auto pay. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.